Okay, so next we're going to learn how to use Dynamo um, to evaluate deflections in truss systems. Actually, just a simple project, but I think it's pretty powerful. And so this is a, f a final project kind of thing where we've created a truss and we're seeing the uh, tension elements in red, the compression elements in green. We can see lower, uh, loads applied to the truss, its actual deflection or resulting deflection accentuated to make it graphically descriptive and load bearing points. And all of that um, will come together in a report in the end, but what um, what will be important to do to get started is actually to go to um, DynaShape, which is inside of Dynamo. I'll give you the link for it, and that will give you all the information that you need to see the download, or to do the download. But I'd like you to see this video, uh, just at least a bit of it. Let me make it full screen for you. Just to show you what a powerful tool this is, it's a freeform solver. You can apply physics to these. So what we what they've done here is they've tied down a few nodes, and then they're allowing gravity uh, in a reverse direction to pull it up, as if it was like air supported. And you can see how they can go through and disrupt that in real time. And uh, it's a quite a beautiful package. Here we have uh, something responding to wind. So this. Um, this was demonstrated by a uh, Autodesk um, uh, instructor some time ago um, using a truss system, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to uh, somewhat simplify it and uh, make it a project we could use for advanced structures. So once again, um, powerful tool. It should be a lot of fun to finally see it working. Once you get your project do, done, it takes. it's a bit tedious. My descriptions are a little awkward the first time around. So I hope you'll bear with it. Um, like I say, you need to navigate to this page so that you can download it. You don't want to download it from inside of Dynamo because the package installer manager that they have uh, just seems to be incompatible with it. So um, with that in mind, um, let's get started.